Day four on training. The road back to the cage from my injury. What we've done this morning, we've done a little bit of boxing at 10.30, followed by a little bit of wrestling later on. Today, what I'm gonna go into is what to do in between training in Thailand or anywhere that is new to you and you're gonna be there training full time. These are my views near my house, where I'm staying. I'm just walking down the road really, get a little bit of vitamin D free, and the site in my apartment isn't quite as good as this for the video. So we're just offering a little bit of a wonder, if I'm totally honest. And what we're gonna be going through today is why do you need to make sure you have proper gaps between your training? Oh, little moped. First off, the purpose of your trip. If you are here for a holiday, this video is a little bit different for you and it's not really focused for you lot. This is focused for people that are here full time, the purpose of their trip is training. But the problem is when you come abroad to somewhere you've not been before, you kind of want to do a little bit of the touristy things. And when you have to train full time, that can be quite a big load on your body. I'm gonna take me for example, I'm in Thailand. I train, I normally finish about half 11, 10 to half 11, I finish my first session. After that, my next session is normally four o'clock. So I've got about five-ish hours in between, six-ish hours, it depends on each session. And if I go to the beach for those full six hours, I am gonna be fucked. And I mean fucked for my evening session. And the reason I'm here is to train, not to be a tourist. So I've got to pick my priorities within this to make sure I get the most out of my trip. If your trip's here to be a tourist, obviously this is a little bit slightly different. So, in the first week I've come to Thailand, it's a little bit different because you've not been here. For me, I've not been here in a while. I want to do bits and bobs. I don't want to be stuck in my room. So after training, yes, I go to the beach. Yes, I go on massive ped rides. Yes, I do some touristy bits in between my training and I still make my later session in the day. But the problem with this is when you want to be here a little bit longer, let's say a month or more, it's gonna have a big effect on your training and the quality of your training. So what I do after I've been here for a week, which is today, I've been here, no, I've been here six days so far, but I've been here before. And now I've been here six days, I've kind of got myself set, I've got my place to stay, which is just above here. I'll show you, I'll take a, take a little tour. And now I've got myself set. What I'm gonna be doing in between training is coming back, getting my food, and going to a cafe. I like going to a cafe, air con, doing a little bit of work. I might go to the beach for 20 minutes, but I'm not gonna stay on there too long. I'm not gonna go out to these mad island, islands, do mad trips in between the training, because the reason I'm here is to train. So I'm gonna be absolutely fucked for my second session. For example, today is wrestling. This is where I'm staying. Not too bad. Today is wrestling. And that's a really important session for me to get back into. So I gotta make sure I've got energy to do so. If I went to the beach for two hours today, I'm gonna to be fucked for wrestling. Knackered, I'm gonna be gone in around, and that's just because I've been in the sun too long. You want vitamin D3, but you also don't want sunstroke. So you gotta find the balance point. That's why I don't recommend going out for the full day in between. You don't have to go in a cafe if you've got no work, but doing bits that's not gonna drain your energy too much for the sessions. Things that I do personally. I go to food, to nice restaurants. I might go on my bike to shopping malls and go around, but I try not to be in the sun too long. By too long, I mean six hours from when I've started or finished my morning session to a start my end session, because I'm gonna be knackered. I don't wanna be on the go for that full six hours. If you're living here, this is where it's gonna be normal to you now. 
So watch some food, watch some food, watch some TV, watch some programs, watch some tape. Do something that's not gonna absolutely knack you for your later session. But when can you do touristy things? And this is when I leave my fucking around stage to either after my last session of the day or at the weekend. Now, if it's a big trip, let's say pee pee, or let's say you're gonna swim with some elephants, I'll leave that to the weekend. And that is because the weekend is something that I get bored on. When you're here by yourself, or even with friends and training's done, you've got nothing to do, it's a bit boring. So I leave the week weekend to do a nice big trip for myself because it gives me something to do. Now, massages, I leave them for after training. After training, I can go and get my massage, I can go to nice places, I can go on the beach for the sunset, but I don't really particularly like doing them in between training because I don't like getting a massage and then going to train after. So I leave that to the end of the day. And after my last session, I like going on a ride on the moped. It's pretty, pretty cool and you get a nice breeze, ice baths, saunas, but I try and keep my touristy stuff to a minimum between AM session and PM session. After PM or evening, I will then fuck about, do whatever I want, and I'll do a big trip, normally, either on the Saturday or the Sunday. And this is just to make sure I get the most, long turn, the most out my training. If you were here to be a tourist, that's a little bit different. But my trip here is to get better as a fighter, not to look around the island. So it's all down to your purpose. Oh, sweaty, very sweaty. Let's open this place, this apartment. That is my ped. All the stuff. I bet my camera's overheating now because it is very, very hot. We're in. We are in. So that was today's a little shorter video, but it's a big thing if you want to come out here for a long amount of time and get the benefits of training full time. You can get trapped, and that's another reason why I don't like going and doing massive touristy things in between my sessions is because you can get trapped in that lifestyle where you've come to train, but the distractions have caught you and they're pulling you in. They're reeling you in like a fish, a fish on a fishing rod, and you're reeling them in, you've caught them. They've caught you and they're pulling you to the dark side. And that's what I don't want to happen. To me, it's not happened, I'll be totally honest. I'm too fixed mindset in the fact I'm here to train, but with some people, that happens a lot. And I see it so many times, and it's destroyed, not, I won't say destroyed, but it's changed the whole dynamics, dynamics of people's trips because of that. So it depends how you want to play it. This is how I personally play it in Thailand. And then I save my tourist, big tourist thing for the weekend. Still get massages and all that through the week. I still go to the beach, but I don't stay there for hours on hours if I'm really going to smash training. Especially if I've got a fight coming up because that is priorities. I still go have fun. I still go and do things, but I just don't drain my energy too much because training is the number one Priority. Oh, I get this aircon on because I'm sweaty. Sweaty Betty. I can't even find the remote. Is it this one? See this, yeah? I'm sharing that bed with my mate. £125 for the month. Bargain. Absolute bargain. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. And that's another thing that is good for the recovery. That aircon. Because in that sun, when it is too, too heavy, too warm, sometimes it can knock you out completely. But that is today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, as always, if you got this far, make sure that subscribe button's clicked. Come on, do the boy a favour, 
and I'll see you tomorrow. Bish, bash, bosh, pow!